Welcome back to the latest edition of NC Sports Weekly News. Your water sports central. Philippe Schiappe and the CTIC team dominate the F1 H2O China Grand Prix. It's a poker for the wave uh, with another win in Istanbul. And the Extreme Sailing Series title is almost in the bag. Michel Desjoie on the Côte d'Azur with an exclusive report from one of the toughest editions of Le Voile de Saint-Tropez. Here's a Charlie Spopke with the briefs. Daniel Sanchez Viloria takes home the Hanamana Cup for surf skiers in Sardinia. The Russians dominate Kais Kais, Nika's crowned 2015 RC44 world champion. Plus, Alinghi wins Marseille, but Percy and Outridge hop on board a Sultanate of Oman to claim the GC32 racing tour season. NC Sports plunge into the action. It's a great day for me, for my team. It's a perfect weekend, pole position, win the race, and uh, I don't know what can I say, but it's a uh, Incredible win in China for me, it's my dream, it's on now. In a spectacular home water victory, defending world champ uh, Felipe Schiappe uh, won his first uh, China Grand Prix last week after 45 uh, grueling laps and 90 nautical miles. The French uh, pilot uh, led from start to finish, holding back drivers from 12 different nations uh, here in New Zoo. CTIC China team, in fact, uh, celebrated in full style as uh, Zi Wei Xiong uh, placed a second on boat to two. Daniel Kamsi on uh, Team Abu Dhabi closed the race in third for the UAE. Schappen now takes his overall lead to 55 points ahead of the USA's uh, Sean Torrente and Youssef Al Rubayan from Kuwait. It will all come down uh, to December in the Emirates for the last uh, two events of the F1 H2O season. Confirming all forecasts in an already sensational season, Lake McMillan and the Wave Muscat left no room for doubts in Istanbul and nailed the poker in the key penultimate event of the Extreme Sailing Series 2015. With 25 podium placements in the 31 races held, including 10 wins, the Omani team truly dominated the Bosphorus. It's really, really awesome to, to win here in Istanbul, fourth in a row, which has never been done before, I don't think. So. Um, yeah, we're really, really thrilled with that, but yeah, it's just been a fantastic run we've been on and um, we're absolutely delighted to uh, kind of be sailing so well as a team and really enjoying it all. The conditions have been incredible, Istanbul's like delivered again, amazing wind, windy conditions and it doesn't get any better, better than that in the extreme 40, so it's been a fantastic event. The waves a duo with the Danes on SAP Extreme and the Austrians of Red Bull had ignited the early part of the year. Graham Hansen and Kostner trailed here, while Hagara and Steinacher met disaster with a dismatch. With this result, however, McMillan opens an 11-point gap on the overall leaderboard, and only a personal debacle at the Sydney final in December can now take the world title away from the Oman. In fact, uh, the nation has plenty to rejoice as its uh, second team, Oman Air, led by Britain's Stevie Morrison, also spoiled the party for the competition, wedging in for an important second place in Istanbul. On se rappellera longtemps de l'édition 2015 des Voiles de Saint-Tropez. For the conditions meteorologiques. This uh, 2015 edition of Le Voile de Saint-Tropez will be long remembered for its foul weather conditions, which were, to say the least, abominable. In fact, uh, since early in the week, a very strong low pressure system with equally strong winds uh, from the east uh, obviously created a massive and very steep uh, waves. Uh, the worst uh, conditions are for a regatta. The torrential rains had a disastrous effect on the region, yet the organizers managed to complete three regattas and the challenges, clearly in a very tough conditions. Trois regattes plus la journée des filles. 
mais évidemment dans des conditions particulièrement difficiles. Comme d'habitude, le spectacle à Saint-Tropez a été grand. As always, the show in Saint-Tropez was grand, almost theatrical in these conditions. 300 boats are racing on the water between classic and modern yachts. 4,000 sailors to note the presence of the splendid Elena, a 46-meter design by Rochhoff. A new boat in the game, a Spectre, a boat by Manny Frères of 18.60 meters, now involved in the promotion of the new James Bond the movie. He fait la promotion du prochain film de James Bond. Une chose étonnante, la victoire de Ranger. Alors Ranger, c'est un J-Class. A striking result was the victory of Ranger, a J-Class from 1938 that has been refitted to race against the modern yachts. This is a 36-meter J-Class and it's a remarkable result for a boat nearly 100 years old. In other modern classes, Francis Baltic 50 Music took victory in Class 2. And USA's Vesper took a Class 3. Dans la classe Wally, the 100-foot Y3K came ahead of Magic Blue in a real tight final result. Now the classic. This year we saw the victory of Moonbeam 3. Chinook, the American design of Rush off from 1916. And in the smaller class, a British boat designed by William Fife, Tern. A beautiful little boat. An anglais, par contre, appelant William Fife, Tern. Très joli petit bateau. Et Marconi, avec trois principales classes. Victoire d'un côté de Mauro Pelasquier, un skipper italien très connu pour ses participations. The three Marconi classes, a victory went to the renowned America's Cup veteran Mauro Pelasquier on Eleonore. The Americans, Americans also won on Rodi, a New York, a New York 50. And another victory came from Aikra, with a Sebastian Destremo on helm, a 12-meter former America's Cup, and with a skipper now preparing for the Vonda Globe. Things uh, started off well for him. He wins uh, Saint-Tropez on Icara. Sa participation au Vendée Globe, le Tour du Monde en solitaire. C'est bien parti pour lui. Il gagne à Saint-Tropez avec Icara. Forty-six of the world's best and fiercest kayakers hit the open waters for this year's ICF Ohana Mana Cup off the coast of Cagliari, Sardinia. Following a tight and grueling race, Spaniard Daniel Sanchez Viloria was crowned champion, completing the 26-kilometer race in just one hour and 39 minutes. South Africa's Greg Lau and Germany's Michael Dobler joined him on the podium, respectively, in second and third. Although the top three athletes navigated in surf skis, several outrigger canoes also took part. The course stretched over 14 nautical miles, connecting the iconic Poeto and Solanas beaches. This surf ski event here in Italy was the last chance for the pros to iron out the kinks before the 2015 ICF Ocean Racing World Championships in Tahiti. Russian sailing teams dominated the 2015 World Championships with a 1-2-3 in Kaiskais last weekend. With over 20 knots of wind and 2-meter waves closing the regatta, Nika, Ronenosek and Chidef engaged in a private battle at the top, distancing the rest of the pack by nearly 20 points overall. Oh. A much-needed okay. victory for not just owner-driver Vladimir Prosikin, but also for the Kiwis on board Nika. With the tactics of America's Cup legend Dean Barker, now also leading the Japanese challenge, Sean Clarkson and Jeremy Lomaz. A single point overall separated Vladimir Lubimorov's Bronenosek second place from Igor Law's Chirev, closing in third. But the tight competition was a clear sign that Russian sailing is mastering Grand Prix racing on the large monohulls. With these world championships in Portugal now in the books, the final curtain of the 2015 RC44 Championship Tour will take place in the Caribbean with the RC44 Virgin Gorda Cup at the end of November.
Winning five of the ten races held at the Marseille One Design Classic, the USA's Morgan Larson and Swiss team Alinghi did capture the last event of the season for the GC32 Racing Tour last Sunday. Yet it would not be enough to hold back the rise of Sultanate of Oman, with superstars Ian Percy and Nathan Outridge in their GC32 debut. There was a little bit of pressure for the five of us when we came. Obviously, Lee had done a, and his team done a fantastic job to get us into the lead as, as for Oman. And uh, yeah, we didn't want to let them down. Uh, so, you know, because of his good work, we only needed to come top three, which we, we managed to do uh, on, our, on our first day out, which we were pleased with. But obviously, we, we were looking forward to sailing the day to try and make up the difference. One of the world's best racing courses, Marseille, offered a mixed bag of conditions for this new foiling circuit. From the early light breezes to the 42 knots of the final day. Jan Guichard's uh, spindrift team, a contender throughout the season with a second place here, turned uh, this regatta into a three-way challenge. But with Sultanate of Oman ultimately taking third, this was a sour victory for Larson and Ernesto Bertarelli's team, as Alinghi came just uh, one point short of the season title. Next up, uh, join the current for a very special edition of the NC Sports Buzz with a unique uh, take from the very first ISA Adaptive Surf World Championships in California. Catch all the highlights, the in-depth interviews, and those very personal stories that are changing forever the world of water sports. Plunge into the action with NC Sports. <laughs>